I have been waiting for these sets all year, ever since they were announced. It's Jay, Seven Star Bricks. Today we're going to build set 75572. Jake and Natiri's first Banshee Flight, 572 pieces from Avatar. Which is now apparently back in theaters. This comes with Jixuli and Natiri. Oh, I took that box art out. That's pretty cool. Liking that. You can see the the cool avatar figures with their longer limbs on the top here. That's pretty cool. Just got that branding. Some of the uh, floating mountains. Let me just throw that on the table. We've got uh, the dimensions on the Banshees. 10 and a half inches long by 14 and a half inches wide. That's pretty, pretty big for this set. Some images of the Banshees. You can put them on the little piece of the floating mountains that come with them. There's the floating mountains that come with it. Pretty cool. Let's put this thing together. Look at that. They actually put the manuals in a nice cardboard sleeve. Thank you, Lego. And you get... Uh, Three manuals, and all the stuff that could get crushed it was in the cardboard sleeve with the manuals. That's a good job, Lego. Why can't you do that for all the Lego Star Wars sets, too? Let's dance. Start with, we've got on this set, Jake Sully, uh, which I believe comes in, actually, in every single one of the Avatar sets. You're going to have a lot of copies of Jake, but he does look kind of like Jake in this one. He's got the bare chest and the loincloth from when he's learning to be a Navi. So that's pretty cool. That tail is a rubberized piece that plugs in between the, uh, the body and the legs. The body on these is a little short. They should have elongated the body because they elongated the legs and the arms, but the body is the same as a regular Lego minifigure. So it makes them look a little out of proportion, especially considering how big the heads are on these. So other than that, it's really cool. And the little Lego hair piece on the top plugs into the, I guess the interface tails or whatever on all the wildlife from Pandora, just like in the movie. So that's pretty cool. First flight seals the bond. You cannot wait. <sighs> Think, fly! Fly? <laughs> And then we have Natiri as well. Natiri actually has her flying goggles from the movie on in this set for the minifigure, so that's pretty cool. Otherwise, looking exactly like Natiri. I think she comes in a majority of the sets as well. And the Lego Avatar minifigures have two different hair pieces, one for the men and one for the women. So this is the second hair piece for the women. It's the same on all of the women figures, and the men's hair piece is the same on all of the men's figures. That's a pretty cool looking minifigure though. I like those. Hey! All right, so here is Jake and Natiri's first Banshee flight in all its 572 piece glory. It allows you to mount both of these Banshees onto the scenery part that it comes with. Uh, that does have some glow-in-the-dark elements, and I'll throw those in here so you can check those out and see what they look like. And then uh, let's take a closer look at these pieces and see what they look like here. So these Banshees do just both mount on the scenery. You can just unplug them. They just all come with a little cross piece that plugs into a piece on the scenery, so you can take those right off. It's very easy. It's very easy to put them back on. This is the scenery set that comes with it. So it's kind of cool. You can see we've got like a little waterfall coming down. This is meant to be the floating mountains or the Hallelujah Mountains from the movie. So we've got a little water feature here. We've got a couple of floating mountain pieces and then some avatar looking plants. Those are pretty cool. 
uh, just your basic scenery to put the other stuff on. And this is what the Banshees look like. So the first thing that jumps out that is super cool is look at these wings. These are kind of a flexible, some sort of polymer flexible material. These are super cool. You punch them out of a, uh, a sheet and then they post over these pegs that are built into the wing frames. That is awesome. That is a super cool way to do the wings for these. I love that. So they've both got tails here. They've both got two separate wing pieces and these can fold up. Oop, or you can just knock them off accidentally like that. These can both fold up and down. That is super cool. This is the, this actually came off the set. This should be on the set. This is the part that plugs into the set to keep them on there. They've all got brand new molds for the faces here. These are two parts, you snap them together and then you can open the mouths on these. That is super, super cool. Uh, and then they have the tail pieces that plug in with the Jake and Natiri characters or the Navi. So if you want to put Jake Sully on his uh, Banshee, there's kind of a saddle thing going on here. They don't really sit in here. They kind of just lay face forward and then you just plug them in there. And now these are meant on these avatar characters. One of these tails plugs into the avatar's hair tail, just like in the movies. And then they can hold on to the other one while they're sat here on the Banshee. So that's pretty cool. And then let's take a look at the other Banshee here. This is essentially the exact same build. Uh, this one is obviously just in a different color scheme to match Natiri's Banshee from the movie. So that is super cool. I love these, these wings are, these wings are just awesome. Uh, I guess it's really, it's Jake's first Banshee flight. Natiri's teaching him because he's a scout, but you know. Um, this is the one. I would say if if you were only able to get one Avatar set and you really wanted one of the Lego Avatar sets, this is the one that you want to get. This one uh, right now in the U.S. is going for $59.99. Uh, it is 572 pieces. That puts the price per piece count right at that sweet, almost 10 cents per piece spot. Um, you get the two, obviously the two main characters from the Avatar movies, and you get their really iconic flying mounts and a cool piece of the Hallelujah Mountains. And so, I mean, this is the one. This The price is great. The piece count is good. You get a lot of cool, iconic stuff from the movie. And yeah, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't get this one out of all of them if this is the, you know, if you wanted an Avatar set. I mean, this is the, the best one to go with. The uh, Taruk Makto set is really cool, but it's slightly overpriced at 150 US. And then uh, some of the other ones are they're cool, but they're not as cool as those two. So uh, Taruk Makto is a great one if you want to get a bunch of Avatar figures and another iconic scene from the movie. Uh, but price per piece, this is the sweet spot. This is the one you should probably go for. All right, guys, that's it. Once again, my name is Jay. This is Seven Star Bricks. Thank you for joining me here again. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you here on the next one.